This video highlights some of the new and updated features of Brightspace Learning Environment 10.8.2. Instructors can now use their Brightspace credentials with Assignment Grader to annotate non-PDF assignment submissions. For more information, review the release notes. If your institution is not using the Daylight Experience, the D2L, Tools, My Course Widget, Updated Sort Logic, Configuration Variable now defaults to On. For more information, review the release notes. Parents can now access internal content files from the Assignment Details page in Brightspace for Parents. When parents view the Assignment Details page and navigate to Attachments, they can now view internal content files that provide context when helping their children with homework. Clicking the file prompts a download so parents can view the materials. As of June 30th, D2L will no longer support native apps running on Android 4.4 devices. For additional details, review the release notes. The Copy Course Components workflow now includes the option to offset dates. When copying course components, there is a new Review and Manage Dates option. Click it to offset dates and manage dates. A number of Brightspace datasets have been updated to include more information about soft deleted data. For more information, review the release notes. Instructors can now click a hyperlink to the full discussion post when grading from the Assess Topic pop-up in their gradebook. From Enter Grades, when an instructor selects a discussion post and navigates to the post section, there is now a hyperlink that opens the discussion thread the post originated in, in a new tab, for quick reference. Instructors with the Daylight Experience on will now see fixed headers in the Enroll Users page in Groups. Users can now express ideas using an assortment of emoticons anywhere the HTML editor is available in Brightspace Learning Environment. Users are now auto-generated once the configuration phase of setting up a source system is complete. You are no longer able to edit the D2L, Tools, Login, Org Login Path, and D2L, Tools, Login, Org Mobile Login Path configuration variables. You can no longer view the D2L, Tools, Mail, Use Reply, To and From Address configuration variable, and its currently set value remains unchanged. For more information, review the release notes. The Courses page in Manager Dashboard is now sorted by enrollment status. Random Sections has become Question Pools. All existing functionality is included in a new, simplified workflow. When editing or adding questions to a quiz, click New, and select Question Pool. Enter a title, the number of questions that will be pulled from the pool during the quiz, and the points value for the questions. Then, click Browse Question Library to add questions. Select Questions for the pool, and click Add. Now, when you create a role, you can enter up to 60 characters. This includes Unicode characters. This feature implements PI item D3403. The new D2L, Tools, Rubrics, Default Rubrics Visibility configuration variable allows you to control rubric visibility for learners. This feature implements PI items D629 and D2623. You can set rubric visibility to Always Visible to Learners, hidden until feedback published, or always hidden from learners. Note, instructors can set the visibility of individual rubrics at any time when creating or editing one. Rubric feedback is now consistent across tools in Brightspace Learning Environment. Discussions and content now include overall feedback, an indicator and access to rubric feedback, and score. Learners can now click a rubric to view it in a pop-up. As before, you see feedback that is highlighted based on the score selected by the instructor, and the overall score is now total. Learners can now view graded rubrics and associated feedback in the gradebook, and can view the completed rubric in the associated tool. You can control this functionality with the new, temporary, D2L, Tools, Rubric, Display Activity Rubrics on Grades 
configuration variable, which is off by default. This feature implements PI items D112, D2629, D2617, and D1316. Now, when learners view their gradebook, they will have direct access to all their feedback in one place. Instructors and learners will notice interface changes when previewing rubric definitions. Rubric previews have an improved look and feel. Rubric definition previews open in a pop-up window or are embedded in the assessment view, such as from an assignment or a discussion. Each rubric definition preview accommodates current rubric types, six levels, and ten criteria. A total row replaces the overall score row for the entire rubric. Rubric definition previews maintain a consistent appearance across Brightspace learning environment, including responsive display on desktops and mobile devices.